Hi, I'm Serena and I'm a project manager at Lynx Analytics. Based on Gartner research, for every one customer who complains, there are 26 others who aren't happy but choose to remain silent. So how can a CSP effectively identify the remaining 26 silent and happy customers to prevent them from churning? Let me give you an example. A crucial moment in the lives of any individual is when they choose to move house. And this life-changing event can either create a better experience for your customer or can be an opportunity for long-term loyalty. So one of Lynx Analytics' clients is a leading quote play CSP in Hong Kong with 1.4 million broadband subscribers. And each month, thousands of them move to a different address. And our findings have shown that many customer complaints are directly related to this experience. So before implementing the Customer Happiness Index, our client primarily relied on customer complaint data to assess and predict dissatisfied customers. But unfortunately, since most broadband subscribers are bounded by two-year contracts, many of them simply choose to not complain but wait to leave the provider once the term is up. Let's take a look at how the Customer Happiness Index can help you better address this problem. First, we start by focusing on people with low HI scores. Then, we narrow this down to people who have recently moved. And finally, we focus on customers who live in areas that, where we know that at least one of our competitors is present. The result is a well-defined segment that has generally low HI scores. If we look at the three main areas of customer experience, it is clear that the low scores are primarily driven by touchpoint and processes. So let's take a look at this particular area. What we can see is that there are six ingredients here, of which two are fairly okay scored, two are sort of medium, and two are very low indeed. So now we know that in J segment, a main source of concern may be paying the bills. If we look at the other low scoring segment being charged to reconnect service and take a look at the distribution, we see that many of the customers had to pay these fees in this segment. Now we have two interconnected insights, people being concerned about billing, constantly checking their apps and reconnection fees. Let's take a more detailed look at this particular ingredient with a reliability score over 94%, a good indicator for taking potential action. Most importantly, we can also see that customers who had to pay these fees are at a very high risk of churning. Therefore, it is well advised to be taking action on this. In addition, suggested actions are also displayed. So taken all together, our customer care team, just in a few clicks, has gained a good understanding on how to elevate the HI score of people like Jay in a way that may have the biggest impact. With the help of this solution, our clients successfully reduced their subscriber churn rate from 1.3 to 1.1% per month, which translated to millions of revenue savings for the company. Find out more today on how our solution can serve your business. Visit us at linksanalytics.com or get in touch with us at marketing at linksanalytics.com.